Downing Street has apologized to the Queen for a lockdown rule-breaking party held the night before Prince Philip's funeral. Number 10 contacted the palace after it emerged that staff had held two separate leaving drinks on April 16, 2020. Last night it was claimed suitcases full of alcohol were wheeled into the Downing Street building for the parties that took place when the country was still banned from meeting those from other households indoors. The country was also still in a period of national mourning following the death of the Duke of Edinburgh one week earlier. The latest revelations have sparked outrage across the country, with many contrasting the behavior of those in number 10 on the Friday night with the behavior of Her Majesty on the Saturday, who was forced to sit alone in a scaled-back church service for her husband of 73 years. A spokesman for the Prime Minister said. It is deeply regrettable that this took place at a time of national mourning and number 10 has apologized to the palace. You heard from the PM this week, HES recognized number 10 should be held to the highest standards, and take responsibility for things we did not get right. The events on April 16 are the latest to be included in an investigation being carried out by Sue Gray, a senior civil servant, into allegations of illegal gatherings in government during the pandemic. Number 10 said the apology to the palace was not made personally by Boris Johnson but refused to go into details of the exact nature of the conversation saying it would be wrong to comment before Ms. Gray finished her report. The spokesman said, the Prime Minister said earlier misjudgments have been made and it's right people apologize, as the PM did earlier this week. It remains the case that I can't prejudge the inquiry which you know is ongoing, which has been led by Sue Gray, but we acknowledge the significant public anger, it was regrettable this took place a time of national mourning. No date has been set for Ms. Gray to complete her report by but it has been claimed she was set to present her findings by the end of next week. 